In the kingdom which lay south of the land, there once was a poor couple that really loved each other. Their lives were filled with happiness. However, the man Marcus wanted to give his wife a better life. So he decided to join the war so that he could grow in rank and get some rewards from the king. Also, Marcus dreamed of becoming a noble man since he was a child because he grew up in extreme poverty. However, his wife, Lucia, didn't want him to go and risk the... Marcus! Do you really have to go? Yes, I must go. If you really have to go, promise me you'll stay safe. Come back home soon. Don't worry. Before you know it, I will be back. I will miss you, my dear. Marcus was fleeing, he was tripped over a rock and fell down, hitting his head and bending his helmet out of shape. Marcus was caught by the soldiers from the Northern Kingdom, but they couldn't remove his helmet. We must take off his helmet so the king can ask him some questions. I've already tried many times, but it's stuck on there. How do you get caught? And why are you still wearing a helmet? Well, I'm a soldier for the Falcon Kingdom. Oh, I've heard that you lost the war. <sighs> and the reason why I'm still wearing a helmet is because I was unlucky. I fell and hit my head on a rock which made my helmet out of shape. Ha <laughs> ha! You're an interesting fella! When I was young, Escaping from the cell was my dream, but I gave up. Growing old has robbed me of my strength and endurance. Maybe you can succeed where I failed. I will do my best, my friend. After years of fighting and finally losing the battle, Lucia stayed worried at home waiting for Marcus's return. Years have passed alone Where I am all alone Promise you'll come home But still the house is cold I can wait no more Now. 
After a long trip, they finally reached the territory of the Northern Kingdom. They started looking for news of Marcus. One day while they were searching, the king of the kingdom passed through the street in his carriage. Later, they put on their dresses and makeup, and without anyone noticing, sneaked into the party under the guise of nobility. so different from the other ladies. Would you like to dance with me for a while? Yes, my lord. Who am I? Lucia! My lord! <laughs> Who are you? Wait! Marcus! Release him! What are you doing, mother? This is fate. Richard, Marcus, I think it's time to tell you the truth. I've carried this further with me for many years. You are, in fact, brothers. Wait, what? I don't understand. What are you talking about, mother? Your father thought that it would be a problem if there was another man who looked like the king. So he was going to kill your younger brother. However, I didn't want either of you to die. So I decided to ask a soldier in whom I trusted wholeheartedly to carry Marcus to the southern kingdom and take care of him as if he was his own son. So, you're my brother? Who are you? I'm Richard Harris, the king of the Southern Kingdom. Don't you have anything else you want to say to me? Well, I'm sorry, my brother, and welcome back. Would you like to regain your status as a nobleman? Of course. So, why are you wearing that helmet anyway? Marcus spent some time explaining why the helmet couldn't come off. And he also told his brother about his experiences. After becoming an important official, Marcus had no time to spend with Lucia because his duties kept him too busy. Marcus didn't know about Lucia's miscarriage. Darling, I need your help. Just, just go away. Can you see I have so much work to do? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Help me this time. Get out of here! I don't know what I'm suffering. Help 
Lucia became depressed and isolated after her miscarriage. The sadness started eating her up from the inside. The next day. Lucia! Lucia! My lord? Where's Lucia? Lady Lucia asked me to give you this letter, my lord. My love, this is not the life I wanted. You spent so, so much, much time, time working, working that, that you forgot, forgot about, about me. Although, Although we became we rich, we drifted apart. I needed you after my miscarriage, but you were nowhere to be found. I'm sorry I couldn't be the wife you wanted or needed. I hope one day you'll find the happiness you've been searching for. Farewell, my love. Forever yours, Lucia. Where is she? My lord. Where's my wife? In her room, my lord. What's wrong, my lord? Lucia! Lucia! Why are you laughing on the floor? Are you playing a joke on me? That's not funny! Lucia! Answer me! It was my fault. I will discard my status and bring you back to the Southern Kingdom. I promise! that I will spend more time accompanying you. So please, wake up! Wake up! Lucia, why are you still lying on the floor and say nothing? No! Please, God! No! Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. But remember that what you now have was once among the things that you only hoped for. Epictetus.